A ration management system is only as good as its ability to efficiently and accurately track feeding information. Once the feeding data is tracked, it needs to easily be broken down into usable reports. Feedform and PC does this for both dairy and beef producers. To view the five default reports, go to the Reports tab and select which one you want to view. You can choose from Feed History, Load Air, Mix Air, Pins by Daily Cost Per Head, or Pins by Daily DMI. We will review the Pins by Daily DMI first. Once you select it, a menu box will open up. The default setting for the operator column is between. This will be the most commonly used setting for this report. Click on the gray tab to the right of the value column which shows the current date parameters. Enter in the date range you would like to view. In this example, we are viewing all feedings from July 1st to July 8th. Once the date range has been entered in, click on Select. Click on the Preview tab to view the report or the Print tab to print the report. It is recommended to select the Preview tab to view the report prior to printing it. You will see the PIN numbers in the left column and the feeding dates in the top row. You can view the individual PIN DMI for each day and the PIN's average DMI for the selected period. In this example, you can see that PIN 1's DMI for July 1st was 45.86 pounds. PIN 1's average for this 8-day period was 46.65 pounds. You can also view the average DMI that was fed to all the PINs for that day. On July 1st, average DMI for the 6 PINs that were fed was 48.53 pounds. To save this report, click on the down arrow by the green disk. Select which file type you want to save it as. The most common files are saved as PDF, XLS, or CSV. In this example, we are going to save the report as a CSV file. You will notice there are several CSV exporting options including encoding, text export mode, and text separator, along with the option to choose quote strings with separators. In most cases, the default settings are the ones that will work best for you. Once you have the export option set the way you want it, press OK. Select the location you want to save the file to, along with entering in the name you want to save the file as, then press Save. By saving to XLS or CSV, you can then further customize the report for your operations required data or to set up the file into a format to import into other management software your operation might be using. If you have entered the cost per ton for all your ingredients, Feedforman will also produce a daily cost per head report. This report displays info in similar format to the DMI report. You can view the cost per day and cost per day hours for that pin over the selected period. This is very valuable information to help you maintain your operations profitability. We are again setting the date parameters for July 1st to July 8th. The left column shows the pins fed and the top row shows the date. The column on the right shows the average cost per head for that pin during the selected period. The row on the bottom shows the average cost per head on that day for all pins fed. You can see that our cost on July 1st for pin 1 was $10.50 per head. Pin 1's average for that period was $10.70. The average cost per head for all pins fed on July 1st was $11.13. You can use the process outlined previously to save these reports as a file of your choice. This is an excellent report for feedlots to use when doing closeouts for groups of cattle. Another very useful report is Feed History. Feed History is a detailed report of every load mixed in the selected time parameter and where it was fed. You can view the as-fed target quantity along with the actual as-fed quantity mixed. In addition, you can view the start and end time along with the air percentages displayed. In this example, the milk cow recipe we mixed had an as-fed target of 8,898 pounds and the actual as-fed amount was 8,863 pounds, which was an air quantity of negative 35 pounds or minus 0.39%. You can also view the same information for each individual ingredient. In this example, the premix as-fed target was 2,634 pounds and the actual as-fed premix was 2,593 pounds. This is a difference of 41 pounds or minus 1.56%. In this current example, the batch was mixed to feed to specifically one pin. You can use the document map on the left side to view reports from different days. In addition, you can see how many batches were mixed each day. 
In this case, on July 3rd, you can see that five different batches of the milk cow recipe was made. If we go to review the feedings on July 3rd, we can see that the feed for pin 1 and pin 7 were mixed as one batch. The expected as fed for pin 1 was 8,999 pounds, while actual as fed was 8,939 pounds. The expected as fed for pin 7 was 3,862 pounds, and the actual as fed was 3,860 pounds. For both dairy and beef producers, this is a very useful report to make sure your feeders are mixing and feeding batches to your nutritionist specifications. For beef producers, this is a very useful report to export to Excel to create a very detailed closeout report that involves each individual ingredient for that group of feeder cattle. The mix air and load air are valuable reports to see if your mixer operators are mixing a consistent ration and meeting the target set for them in feed foreman. To view the mix report, simply enter in the date parameters, then click on the preview button. You then have five parameters you can select from. Drop air pounds, drop air percentage, ingredient air pounds, and ingredient air percentage, and ingredient time, which is the time in between the ingredients. In this example, we want to view ingredients that were off by 5% or more and load drops that were off by 5% or more. Once we have entered in these parameters, we click on the submit button. All errors that meet the parameters will be displayed in red. You can use the document map to navigate the different days and specific loads. When we select July 5th, we can see that one of the milk cow batches expected as fed premix was 3,746 pounds, and the actual as fed premix was 3,965 pounds, which was an error of 5.85%, meeting our search parameter of 5% or greater. While the mix air report goes into greater detail outlining each ingredient along with each pin fed. The load air report provides a quick summary of each batch's target as fed, actual as fed, air pounds, and air percentage. In addition, it provides an average for all the loads mixed that day. On July 1st, you can see that the average target as fed was 10,020 pounds. The actual as fed was 10,135 pounds with an average error of 115 pounds or 1.17% over the entire batch. This completes the Feed Foreman Reports Overview. If you have further questions, please refer to your user manual on your Feed Foreman CD or visit our website at www.agscales.com.